I grew up in Juneau, Alaska, and we literally lived on the side of a mountain. Juneau was nestled between all of these massive, striking mountains, and the only way to get in and out is via boat or plane. There were times when I'd go out onto the boat with my mom and dad, and I would just try to lock in the memories of what those mountains looked like. I have a very vivid memory of a waterfall cascading down through the lush greenery and the rocks, and it was so beautiful that I took a mental picture of it and I knew I'd always remember it, and I do. So mountains have always held a very special place in my heart, and all of that majesty and beauty is represented in this absolutely stunning circular pie shawl by Emma Buttram. Look at this absolutely beautiful design. It is called Montaigne and means mountain in French. It was designed for you by Emma Buttram and I was so excited when she reached out to me with this amazing concept. It starts here in the center and then progresses outward and then finishes with this stunning border. I'm gonna be showing you in a minute just how easy it is to get started with this shawl by using the magic loop method. It's an intermediate pattern, but it just uses basic stitches and so if you've never made a circular shawl before, I highly recommend you give this one a try. I think you're going to love it. And make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm gonna be showing the special stitches that you will use in this pattern. This design starts here in the center with these beautiful knit stitches, then progresses into a stand of trees with foothills that lead to the nearby mountains. And then you'll progress on to the snow-capped mountain peaks, which are the crown glory of any mountain range. And then you're gonna come upon the border, which resembles the outline of mountains on the distant horizon. As you knit it and move through each phase, we hope you feel an amazing sense of accomplishment. And when you reach the end, ah, all of that hard work will have paid off and you can enjoy your beautiful mountain inspired shawl. You're gonna find the PDF pattern for this design which includes the written and the charted instructions at expressionfiberarts.com and of course we will include the direct link in the description for you. To begin this shawl, you're going to either need to start with double pointed needles or the magic loop method using a long circular needle. And since that is my preference, I'm gonna be showing you how to work that today. To get started, cast on nine stitches. For round one, you are going to knit every stitch around. Once you have your nine stitches cast on, you're gonna find approximately the center. Pull all of your stitches down onto your cable. Fold that cable in half, and where you found that center, you're going to pull your cable up through that point. Next, you're gonna find the side that does not have the yarn attached, and you're gonna push your needle into those stitches. Then grab your working yarn, Pull this other needle up and you're ready to start knitting. Make sure you've got your working yarn. Go ahead and flip your work over like this. Take the working yarn behind that needle and you're ready to start knitting your first row. You wanna make sure your stitches are not twisted and we'll be able to check after we've completed our first row. You'll just begin knitting like you would knit anything else. And I'll show you what to do once we've completed these first five stitches. Four, five. Now I like to continue holding my working yarn, flip it up and over, 
grab both the needle and your cable and pull that cable up, pushing these stitches here onto that other needle. Rotate your work and then you can pull up the other needle and you're ready to get started knitting these four stitches. One, two, three, four. And you've now worked your first round of the shawl. Row two is an increase round, so we're going to be working some yarn overs. At this point, before you begin round two, you wanna check and make sure your stitches are not twisted. If they were twisted, this ridge here would be wrapping up and over your needle, so that's how you would know. Just make sure it looks similar to this and you should be good. Now we're gonna do round two, which is an increase round. Bring your working yarn over, grab your needle and your cable, and we're gonna slide these stitches onto this other needle so that we can work those. Now take your other needle and pull it out and you're ready to begin working these five stitches. To work round two, you're gonna start with a yarn over and then knit one. And you're gonna repeat that all the way around. Yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit, yarn over, knit, now let's go ahead and switch needles. Working yarn on top. Grab your needle and your cable and slide those other stitches onto the other needle. Rotate your work and pull up the other needle. Now remember, you wanna make sure you start with your yarn over here. Knit one yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one, and one more time, yarn over, knit one, and you can check again just to make absolutely sure that your stitches are not twisted, and we are looking good. And just continuing along, I will show you how to knit row three, which is just knit stitches. Let me go ahead and show you round three. It's just knit stitches. So again, bring your working yarn around, grab the needle and the cable, pull the other needle up onto, up into those stitches, rotate your work, pull your other needle out, and you're ready to start knitting the next round. And this gets really fast and efficient. Once you've done it a few times, we do have another video on how to knit the magic loop method if you'd like to check that one out as well. It's my favorite method for making hats and mittens and starting sweaters. I use it all the time. So there's that side. Bring your working yarn over. Grab the needle and the cable and slide these stitches up onto the other needle. Rotate your work, pull your needle up. and continue along knitting the stitches on the other side. Now, you might wanna place a stitch marker at the beginning of your round, just so you don't lose track of which round you are working or which side you are on. And there you go. As you continue along with your shawl and your stitches increase and increase, you're gonna eventually have so many stitches that you no longer need to use the magic loop method they will simply fit all the way around your circular needle. And that's how you get started with this beautiful shawl. I would also love to show you some of the special stitches you're gonna be using in this pattern. To work an S2KP, you're going to slip two stitches as if to knit together. Then you're going to knit one, then pass those two slipped stitches up and over that knitted stitch. To work an SK2P, you're gonna start by slipping one purl-wise, so your needles should be pointing at each other. Then you're gonna to knit two together. Then you're going to pass that slipped stitch over and off. To slip one with the yarn in back, 
You're just going to make sure your needles are pointing towards each other because we're slipping purlwise. Your yarn is in the back, and there you go. To slip one purlwise with the yarn in front, bring your yarn to the front. Make sure your needles are pointing towards each other. Slip one, and there you go. To work a slip slip knit, it's super simple. You're gonna slip one as if to knit, slip another one as if to knit, and then insert your left needle into those and knit both of those stitches together. I hope that was helpful for you and that you remember that no matter what mountains may show up in your life, that you have the strength to climb them. Thank you for joining me and I'm gonna see you next time. Bye for now. And when you reach the end, ah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> little, 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 Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay. What was it again? Oh, it is toasty. This bubbly wool sweater. <laughs> <laughs> Montaigne. Montaigne. Ma Montaigne. Someone who speaks French. Help. <laughs> Montaigne. <laughs> In français. Okay. No, you're not français. Français. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one, go. <laughs> Look at this beautiful shawl. It is called Montaigne. <laughs> it's called Montaigne. <laughs> Let's just Sorry. put the word on the screen. Montaigne. Mont. Mont. It means mountain. <laughs> then you come to the foothills, and then after that, you come upon the. <laughs> Next wow. on the near by horizon <laughs> distance. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do it. Thank you for joining me and I'm gonna see you next time. Bye for now. Girl. Mm.